Hello Chef Sal. Today I'm going to make for you roasted raw spaghetti with pesto. But this is not a regular pesto. I'm going to make a pesto with three ingredients what are very unusual. That is beside basil, what we use for pesto, I'm going to use arugula and I'm going to use parsley and lemon zest. And like all pesto is made, it's made from pine nuts. And let me show you how this process, how we're doing this. Usual, what people do, they make the spaghetti with a spaghetti maker, a pasta maker. I'm going to do this with a whole different way. Now, we can make the spaghetti. We can make or the fettuccine, or you can make lasagna. Let me show you. We've cut this off here. And we can ha make little strips, as you see here. What is more bigger than a lasagna, than a spaghetti? We can do it with a peeler. Beside the peeler, we also can do it, and we're going to cut this to half to make it a little easier, to, with a mandolin. This is Chinese or Japanese mandolin, and look how beautiful this is. And it's very thin sliced. And then what we can do after it's sliced, we just can cut this and have a pasta, a spaghetti, whatever you want to call it. And there's another way, what is the professional way, what I've been using for the last 40 years, what is a French mandolin. And this is not for everybody, this is for the professional chefs, but it's the best. And I just want to show you how this works. This is very easy. We do this like this. And look how perfect this is. This is just beautiful. But again, we're not going to use this too. Because I want to show you an easier way and an inexpensive way and what works perfect. So what are we doing here? We have the zucchini. So I'm going to use my zucchini. And then beside this, I'm going to use a yellow squash too. We're cutting the ends off, make it a little smaller. And as you see, no metal here. We have a glass bowl or ceramic bowl. And this is so easy to make this. So what we're doing here, we, it's a very easy move. Take care. This is very, what do we call it? That is workable, OK? Then the next thing we do, we cut off the ends and we put the zucchini in it, and with your hands moving, pushing here, I do this in a very slow motion. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, then we have this little piece left. Let's go, it's in the bowl, and this, all these vegetables. I will use to make some soup or another dish out of that. Then what we're doing here is we're going to put this in the bowl, in this bowl, and we're going to go to the next one, but it's going to be the yellow squash. Again, this is washed. I cut the ends off to make it perfect, workable, because this is the way it came. Now, to do this, this, this it's going to go round. It's not going to be perfectly uh, uh, done. So I want to have it easy, and you can do that too. And you put it in here and there again. Keep your hand here and very slowly and push this forward. So if you just do like this, look, nothing happened. You got to use on, on, on this machine. You got to push it forwards very slowly. And see how pretty this is, the color, the yellow. All right. We have this about done, a little farther. Look how much spaghetti we get out of one half squash. And this is so simple, you can do this. At, anybody can do this. Again, we're going to remove this. It's going to be in our little trash can. Then we're going to put this in the bowl. And you would think, wow, this is a lot of spaghetti. 
well, this is not a lot of spaghetti because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this and it's going to shrink. Because usually when you make the raw pasta, the people just make it like this and they make the, the pesto dressing and it goes over it, that's it. No, guys, this is not what I'm doing. I'm doing this for 55 years. I've, had every, I've won every award. I've been on many television shows and I'm doing it a whole different day, way. So we let's remove this at the moment. And you see this? We're going to mix this. Uh, this is enough, so we have the green and the yellow. We're going to mix this. What are we going to do next? What we're going to do next is, I'm going to wash my hands. When that's done, I'm going to flavor this. Now, how do you flavor this? Well, if I put fresh garlic in it, it won't mix well because it has to go in the dehydrator. So what I'm doing, I'm taking here some garlic powder, a nice amount, and mix this. And this gives it a beautiful flavor. And then we add some Himalaya sea salt. And this amount, I would say about a teaspoon. I like to put lots of flavor in my food. Again, mix this well. And then the last thing that I'm doing before it's going to go to the dehydrator, I add, add some grapeseed oil. Now most people think, oh, why not olive oil? I don't like when olive oil, extra virgin oil, get heated. Personally, I'm more into grapeseed oil because it's better for your health than any oil. And it can, people can cook with it. it. It can go to very high temperature. And I like the flavor of it. It's very neutral. Okay, so we're going to add here a little amount of the grapeseed oil. Again, we mix this. Right. And if you want to make that spicy, you can even put some cayenne in it. If you want to do other things with it, you can put coriander in there, you can put cumin in it. You can add many spices, do whatever you, you like. It works fine because it's going to be very flavorful. All right, so now you see what we're having here. And now we're going to go to the dehydrator. Now when you go and dehydrate things, be aware it should be heated before, like an oven. You want to heat it for 10 minutes, that's why you heard this noise, because if not, it's going to take a while to get, to get the dehydrator in 105 degrees. That's why we heat dehydrate it on. Okay, so now we're going to move this. We have our sheet. And we're going to put this beautiful in the dehydrate. Now, again, there is nothing wrong with eating it like this. It'd be very nice. But there is a much difference. It's, it's much different after you dehydrate this. And you would possibly going to ask me, well, for how long are you going to dehydrate this? Well, just for a very short time. I don't do this longer than 20 minutes. That's all you're going to need this for. All right? So we got this. And it's going to go in the dehydrator. Voila. Close this up. And we have here our clock. And we're going to put 20 minutes on. All right. So this is, at the moment, the spaghetti is ready for cooking. Or dehydrating. It's not cooking. All right, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I make my pesto sauce. So, all those ingredients, don't throw them away. Put them in your bowl, and what you can do with your cuisinart, with your food processor, you can grind them fine and make vegetable burgers out of that. Never throw anything away. This is raw food, and food is expensive and it's a w there are so many in these people they have nothing to eat I hate to throw anything away so we're not doing this okay now now let's talk about the peso 
The peso can be made different ways. If you have just for yourself or for your girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, you can use a magic bullet, make a very small amount. This is a great machine, very powerful, works anytime. That's for a small amount. Now, if you want to make it for a bunch of people, like six or eight or ten, you can use the Vitamix, what is also very powerful, very easy. The only thing is it's harder to get it out here, but it's great. It's, it's the Rolls Royce of any blenders in the world. For me, there's none better. Okay, but what I'm going to do today is, my spatula, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Cuisinart. And I love the Cuisinart because it's for us. Like what I'm making you here is possible for two, three, four people, no more. Could be an appetite, it can be an entree. So I like to do the Cuisinart, that's perfect. So what are we doing next here? First, we start putting the greens in the machine. Here we have the parsley. It's well washed and dried. As you see, it's dry. Don't put anything wet in the crazy nut when you make a pesto. We always can add a little water. Number one. Number two, I have here some arugula, and that came from the farm this morning. Mm. This arugula is so delicious. Look at those leaves. Look how beautiful those leaves are of this arugula. Instead of in the store, you get this tiny little baby arugula leaves. They have no flavor. Guys, this has flavor. And this comes from hydroponic farm from, in, from Fort Myers. Okay, so again, here we have the arugula. Next to the arugula, we're going to add the basil. And here we have like a half a cup of basil it goes in here. Right. After we've had put the basil, we put about a cup of fresh pine, pine nuts. They are raw and they're not going to be roasted. And as you see, when you have pine nuts, and you buy them, take care that they're nice and white, that there's no mold on it, that there's nothing, no dirt on it. Don't wash them. If you have to, put them between paper towels, clean them. But so far, I've never seen a problem. So there we go. Here we got our pine nuts. Say that's about a cup. Then I'm going to add about two cloves of fresh garlic. I have cut it in half already. Okay, and next thing what I'm going to do is going to blend it. There we go. It's so straight. There we go. Couple of pulses. Look how beautiful this looks. Just look at this. All right. Then what I'm going to do. I put a little squeeze of lemon juice in it. I want to put some acidity in this, okay? So, a little acidity. Then, I'm going to add some pumpkin seed oil in it. Just a couple of drips, because it's green too, and it's very flavorful. And then again, I add some grapeseed oil, and just a little bit of grapeseed oil. I'm going to see how this is going to work. Everything is well blended here. Okay, now the next thing what I want to do, I want to taste it because I want to put some sea, salt, some sea salt in it or Himalayan sea salt. I use Himalayan and see how this tastes. Yeah, this definitely needs Himalayan sea salt, so always taste, 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 taste. It's very important that you taste your food. So now we have had all the ingredients, and what I like to do is add a touch of water too, just a touch, a little bit more moistened. 
And there we go again. Pulse it a couple of times. Yes, it's getting beautiful. Let's scrape the sides up here. Look at this. This is just for two people. See this amount, what we're having here. See how beautiful this looks? And it tastes great. Let me see if it needs anything else. Wow, this is delicious. Now, I personally like to add a touch of cayenne, make it a little zippy. So I'm going to touch a little cayenne to this. See all my spices what I'm having here? Lots of spices. Just a touch of cayenne on this. There we go. One more time. And least, the last thing what I want to do is give it a little bit more acidity. I love to have acidity in my food. Otherwise it's so boring. Okay. Look at this. Look at this texture. How gorgeous this is. Look at this. It doesn't only look great, but it tastes great. It's so delicious. That will be the best pesto you ever will eat in your life. Okay? So, what we're doing next? We have to wait a couple of minutes because our zucchini is not ready. So, we're going to come back to you in a couple of minutes when the spaghetti is ready. All right. So we're going to get rid of the timer, our 20 minutes are over, and we're going to finish up the spaghetti with the pesto. All right, here we go. Look at this. So what you're seeing here, it's got a little bit smaller. It used to be larger. And see this? I, you don't feel, feel this. I feel this. It's nice and warm too. And what's nice, in the winter, it's perfect in the winter evening. If you want some warm food, here you got warm food too. All right, so we're going to put this in the bowl. There we got our spaghetti. And guys, this is enough for two people. This is more than enough. It's going to be pretty rich because you have all the oil and the nuts and we ha that's quite rich. Okay, see this? How beautiful this is. Then the next thing we do, we're going to mix this with our pesto. And the pesto is just perfect, beautiful looking, and it's delicious. I'm going to get the plate out here. I got all my plates set, ready to go. And we're going to mix this. See how much I have left in this? This is more than enough. I could have made a little bit more. If so I have a little left. I don't want to make it too rich. But I think this would be perfect. So we're going to mix this and do that with your hands. It's like you better have clean hands, OK? And very clean. Here we go. This blends so well. Look at those colors. You see here the yellow, the white, and the green. Okay. It's like Grandma's spaghetti we have here. Look at this. It looks just gorgeous. Okay. That's the spaghetti. So, and what I will do next is I like to finish it up with an extra special touch. And the touch is I'm going to grate a little fresh lemon zest over this. Just a little bit. It's like Parmesan Reggiano, what people do. I use lemon zest, give that little acidity. 
and brings out the flavors out. Okay. And then the last thing, I'm going to put a little spicy on it and I'm going to put a couple of peppers on this to give it a little color and to bring out the flavor even more. All right, and then we have here a basil leaf, what goes in the middle to make it just perfect. And here we have the dish. So we're having here the most delicious raw alkaline pasta you will ever eat with pesto. And I think you like this. I think you really enjoy this because it's so unusual. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a little bite and see how the pesto came out with the pasta. And you eat it just like regular pasta. You just look at this. This is unreal. This way this looks like, oh my God. This I have to put down here. This is so beautiful. And don't worry about the oils in it, that's all good stuff for you. Because you see here the oil, it's running out here, but that's normal. Okay, well, I'm saying salute, bon appetit. I say enjoy it, you better believe I enjoy this, because this tastes better than anything. There's nothing better than a raw spaghetti with pesto. And this is Chef Sal. Till next time. Watch and read more at evolvewithflavor.com.